Hello. Um, so from the pitch video, uh, we showed that around class and we each had to comment on each other's videos um, about what we thought of the idea and also with a question that we thought we would run into problems ourselves if we were doing that project. Um, and so going through all of them and on the YouTube video of mine, there were the comments, which I'm now going to run through uh, now. Uh, the first one was, in the cafe scene, would that be filmed at my house or a real cafe? Um, I did think about shooting in my house, but that wouldn't work, obviously, because another part is already being shot at my house, so just for continuity that would make no sense. Admittedly, it's surrealist, so you could do that, but that wouldn't work. So yeah, I am shooting it at a real cafe um, in Wyndham, and I've hopefully got permission there from my boss as I work there. Realistic fake blood. Um, I've got a friend who mostly makes horror films um, and I've asked him about what is the best fake blood you can get. Because um, I know he does use a certain kind. One of them is really expensive uh, but it doesn't stain and it doesn't leave marks on your skin or anything. The other one it's a bit mix and match. You're not sure whether it's going to stain or not. So one he uses for outdoors that he's going to put on objects and the other he uses for people. Um, but yeah, I will buy the more expensive stuff, uh, probably, um, just because, you know, I want the best experience for my actors. I don't want them to be like, oh, he makes that, he made that film where I got covered in blood and it didn't come out for a week or, or something. So probably the best one. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't make it myself with just red food colouring, flour and water because it doesn't work that well. Um, plus it stains quite badly. Um, and I'm not sure if it would work on a lino flooring, whether it would start to stay in that or not. Uh, fitting it all into the time frame uh, was another question, and yes, I plan to, uh, to put it bluntly. Um, but yeah, I hope to get it done as early as possible, so I have the longest time to edit and do everything again, and if I need reshoots, I can. Uh, I've got hopefully three months to play it. Shooting it next week uh, will be a push, but I'm hoping to get everything done. Uh, within this week that I haven't already done and next week as well and then that's it, that's pretty much all of it. Do you explain who the man is? You'll have to wait and see, won't you? I mean, that's kind of the teaser of the film. Um, creating an emphasis of emotions uh, using soundtrack, the actual events, acting and cinematography. Um, yeah, the emotion I'm hoping will mostly be uh, embellished by the soundtrack kind of thing um, just because the soundtrack is there to m subliminally make things feel a lot more deep than anything um, and also the cinematography will play another small part in that the acting that obviously will as well um, and the actual events um, probably will do as well it will make people you know connect with the person they'll everyone must have had that feeling where something can't be explained, whether that's just they look at something and they think, what's that? Or, you know, something more drastic where something happens and they just can't explain it themselves, their mind can't find an answer. The casting, um, yeah, I'm, I've done a read through with the actress and she's pretty damn good. Um, the man, I haven't actually thought of anyone or I don't really know anyone that could fit the man character, I wanted to him to look sort of a bit suspicious, and I do know people who would be are, are good actors, but I don't know anyone whose voice and whose image would would suit the character. So at the moment, I'm just using myself because I just thought I'd, if it's me, I can kind of accept it as myself. If it is bad, um, but if it's someone else, I'll immediately just think afterwards, oh, I shouldn't have cast them or something. Uh, so yeah, the girl I've got, hopefully she'll be willing to do it and the man is me at the moment that's about it uh another question can i be in it maybe is it set today yes um i couldn't really set it any other way without obviously if it's on this size of a scale if it's going through Wyndham, you probably could set it the last decade or decade before but you'd need to get the clothes and everything and you know it's just it doesn't bring anything, it doesn't add anything if it's say, oh it's in the 80s, it just kind of seems like one of those quirky films where it just has to be in the 80s to make it good, um, or it's a bigger attraction, but I just think it's a short film, does it really matter what age it's in if it's 
focused on the story. It's not focused on the time or the story isn't apparent to that time. It's just, it's a story that could happen any time. I just chose to do it now because it's the easiest kind of thing and it, it it's the, makes the most sense and it also keeps my focus to only a few set of things instead of adding another one that would just be a bit more problem. Uh, how old are they? Um, the woman, it's up to people's opinion, uh, I think, and the man, it's also up to the audience's opinion, you know, because it really doesn't matter about their age. Again, it's something that can happen to anyone. It's just up to the audience. Um, overall, all the questions were helpful. I mean, it helped me clarify some things and uh, there were a couple that I thought, yeah, that's probably something the audience would think about. Um, but obviously with this, with the vlogs and everything, um, the audience, well, the audience aren't gonna watch them. But if they do want to find more answers, they can watch my videos on the, my interpretation of it. Because obviously some things aren't written. They're just, you know, it's just there. And some things I just thought, I'll leave it to people's image. Because if you have to spell everything out, it's just like the audience are being told a story instead of being involved in a story. Um, so yeah. Well, thank you for all the questions, if you were one of those people. Um, and I hope to see you soon.